Okay, so we have an issue with this particular cooler. It's an Avanco 95, and the bottom fills with water. So as in uh, some of the other repairs, the only reason for that is that the water coming from the evaporator coil is not draining out the back where it belongs. So a couple of these I have found the same situation from the factory they come with the long vinyl tubing for the drain that goes in the back corner over here. It's too long and it kinks and then it gets full of whatever mold, mildew, mold I guess it is, algae, whatever, and it blocks it off so you gotta usually just cut the end of that tube off a little bit so that it hangs down in there and then clean it out, blow it out and do whatever and then usually the water will pump all over the place and you're good. So in this particular one, I already did that on the back, pulled that out, closed, shut that off, cut it off, sorry, and uh, still got water in the bottom of this thing, so in case you didn't know, these come right out. So we got a uh, half inch of water in there, and I come on this end, and I can see water dripping from this end over here. It almost looks like it's... displaced. See a cupboard? Doesn't look like it's closing off, but it's just a metal cover, so it's not going to be uh, preventing the water. So the only thing I can think of, since I know that drain tube is open, and that's where the water goes in, that bottom trough. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a level on it and, well, it's level, but it doesn't work, actually, yeah. it's just a little low to the right, so what I'm going to do is Somehow get the cooler up in here a little bit and just using a pair of channel locks. This thing I do believe has adjustable feet. Down there. So down there. Let's see, I can't get the camera far enough down there. There it is. And there's the foot. So that should unscrew, and I'm going to unscrew the two on the left side and tilt this thing up so that the water tilts down that direction, and uh, we're going to have to suck the water out of this thing and put us in a known situation. That way we know it's dried out, and see how that works. All right, since I'm old and stupid, I like to do things by myself. Now I only have to worry about one person. So, I'm looking for a pry bar, but this is what I found. I was able to jam that up in there. And carefully pry it up. Stick me a little spacer under there. Now I can move to that foot and adjust it. And having it up that high actually only picks it up that much. So, Nothing else though that'll allow me to bring it up to that height without any fuss or muss other than the fact that that thing hasn't moved since it's been in here and there we go. Generally what happens, you bring these coolers and they just drop them on the floor and uh, head off thinking, oh everything's perfect. You didn't realize these things need to be put in a particular way so that they work properly. And I'm betting that this thing's only issue is going to turn out to be that it was not angled properly. So since I have it up that high, I'm going to actually bring it down that height so 
both sides here, front and rear. And then we're going to suck this thing out with a shop vac. And then we will check on it tomorrow. This is the same thing with any appliances, refrigerators, wash, uh, dishwashers especially, in order to get them to fit right, you have to adjust them and I believe they, I think you level the dishwasher and the internals are actually constructed so that they lean a little bit when you level the outside, which makes a heck of a lot more sense than trying to get somebody to lean it in a particular in a particular amount so anyway let me just keep watching me do this so i'm gonna crank these out and we'll have a look in there see if anything's changed so i adjusted both those feet up i'm actually gonna look at that that's a little high in the front which is good because it's leaning back and then i look in here to see just what's what and it looks to me looking here i don't know how this happened but it looks like okie dokie we'll pull the three screws out of the front and leave well i needed to do that you know pull these three screws out of the front and uh two on the back Okay, final result. Well, where I left off today. So we've got it adjusted way up on its feet, which gives us a little bit of a uh, forward up bubble, which means the front is a little higher than the back. And same on this side, it's a little higher to the left. So help water drain down there. Suck this thing out with the shop back. Hopefully no more water will be going in there. Try. Okay, so what we ended up doing is fixing the drain tube on the back, cutting that so that it kind of hangs over the little tray, which has a little heating element in it to dry that out. Uh, leveled it a little better, well, tilted it a little better, I guess you'd say, and then uh, repaired that tray issue. So, tomorrow morning we'll check this thing out, and uh, we should be good to go, I would think. If not, well, I've eliminated those uh, 
battery issues and uh, we will go from there. Uh, we got another problem. Okay, this is the tools I ended up using. Just a pair of channel locks, a hammer to pry it, and a little piece of cinder block over there. So, all right, uh, that's about it for now. All right, so here we are, 24 hours later. The cooler is at 41.4 degrees. Let's just have a peek, shall we? Let's see how we did. What do we got? We got a dry floor. I don't even see any water in the tray. Yeah. I guess I'll fix that because I'll get upset. I'm going to say. So far, so good. There's a little residue from uh, the bottom of that because I didn't take all the boxes out and dry them out, but that'll dry out by itself. I'm say we're looking good. I'm going to call that a success, a win. It's a wrap. Here we go. One more back in service the way it's supposed to be working. Love it.